Lee, David, a very warm welcome back to Falkirk. Um, well, first things first, how did we get to this point here today? Um, it's the past kind of uh, 40 hours really have been a bit hectic. Um, but obviously, we found out over the weekend and stuff like that. And um, To be fair, the, the club have been great in terms of you know the way it's been uh, arranged and kind of sorted out and stuff like that. There was a few, or well, there could have been a few problems, um, but you know, luckily for us and you know, fortunately it's been kind of ironed out and we're now uh, in the position. Um, obviously, had the first session with the boys yesterday and stuff like that, which went great. And, and then today again, we've had a, a great reaction for the boys, so it's been it's been a really good uh, positive start. Lee, on your part, um, the first couple of days, um, was it all about lifting spirits, getting a reaction? Yeah, of course. Um, obviously, meeting the boys, uh, I know quite a lot of them from playing against them and stuff, but it's just literally lifting the place, let them know what we're all about. Um, yes, we like laughing a joke, but at the end of the day, we're here to win three points. We've not made any. Uh, we've not shied away from the fact we are. We want this job. It's not a case of um, yes, it's interim. Uh, just now, but we want this job in the long run, and we feel not just the fact we want it, we feel we're the best people um, to take the club forward where they need to be and um, where they want to be. For both of you, there's a, a natural affinity back to the club. Uh, you spoke both of you very um, highly about your time at the club and your relationship with the fans, but that all helps in terms of being able to come in on Friday and, and hit the ground running. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's a. Uh you know, even the you know directors of stuff like that spoke. About, heard some of the fans mention it as well that you know something that's got to possibly be brought back to the club. Um, you know, to find the we spoke about it before the club's identity. You know what I mean? Stuff when we were here. You know, just what the club's about. You know, where it wants to be, the ambition of the club and stuff like that. Um, what the club's about in terms of being a family orientated club. You know, you know one that produces youngsters and stuff like that. And goes out and plays with a determination and a you know an aggression to win games and a, a belief that um, that every game we go into we're going to win it. So you know that's up to us and that's up to us to install that into the players. You know I'm pretty sure there's some of that in there already, but you know just to to uh, take that to a new level um, and, and just make sure they, they understand kind of what position they're in. Well, you were obviously an, a player at Livingston up until yesterday. Was that a, a, a decision you had to think about in terms of coming here and um, leaving that side of things? I, I said it in an interview earlier. Um, when this opportunity came up, um, I actually never even thought in terms of playing or anything. Um, I just thought this would be an unbelievable opportunity for myself and David to come in and, um, and, and turn things around here. Um, in terms of playing wise, I've not really thought about it. I've so much going on here and I'm fully focused on winning games, getting these boys what a squad we've got in there. What a squad we've got in there and just to lift our spirits and get them organised in winning games at the end of the day. Um, because that's what we're here to do. We're here to um, put our stamp on the team um, and let them know what we're all about. The last two sessions, our last three th sessions, have been fantastic. The application, desire, commitment. We're just looking at the GPS stats there. They're all up. They're all at it. They're all enjoying training. They're coming off with a sweat on, but a smile on their face, which is the most important thing. They need to enjoy coming to work. Um, the music bl blaring their way in there in the changing room. People are telling me that's not been on for ages. It's like, it's just a feel good factor. We need to have a feel good factor and coming to work with a smile on their face. For the two of you, does your relationship and the way you, you interact with each other, um, that obviously brings its benefits and, and right away from the start people in the dressing room without the club are seeing a, a real duo there? Aye, well, it's funny, we obviously, you know, throughout our careers have played against each other, played, you know, with each other here at the club and stuff like that, but, you know, since both of us left, obviously we've kept in touch and stuff like that and it was only just, just by chance last week. You know, last Wednesday we met for a coffee just to get a catch up and speak about other things and just get a general catch up. And then, you know, before you know it, a few days later we're, we're back in the uh, same job again together. So, um, and and that's great, I think, because we're very similar people, we're very motivated people. We like to, you know, be positive with everybody around about us and get the, the most for people around about us. So, um, you know, I think the fans recognise that as well. And we've seen the reaction through social media. And, uh, stuff like that, that that's you know they understand that and they they look excited about that as well and that's what we are as well so we're just looking to get the best for the, the boys that we've got and as Lee says you know what a squad we've got and we just need to make sure we're utilising every single play we've got. 
Looking a bit more specifically ahead to Friday, the two of you have <coughs> been at this club in cup finals, you David, playoff finals, you Lee, um, but the cup on, on Friday, there'll be always a, they're going to be full, terrific atmosphere, and is that a challenge, you think, a good game for you to start with? Yeah, I think so, um, it's a cracking tie, obviously it's going to be a, um, a local derby, as you're saying, um, which is great for the boys, but it's a winnable game, uh, you know, we have to go there with the uh, expectations of winning that game. Um, we'll drill the boys, we'll give them every bit of information possible and we'll set our stall out to, to win the game. We're just enjoying the whole aspect of the cup um, and their first game is away from home on the TV. You can't ask for a better game than that. Um, so we can just get the boys tuned in and uh, on point and if they, if they play anywhere near the way they've been training two days then it'll be, it'll be a good night. Just finally, um, ask this question of the week. How is the squad looking in terms of any injuries? How in general we're training the last couple of days since you've been in? Um, no, nah, we're, we're okay. Um, everybody's, you know, as we said, we've had a couple who just came back, Michael Tids and stuff like that, who so just came back in. And, um, the boys are, you know, what, sh what should be expected anyway, with a new kind of management team coming in, you'd expect a bounce, you'd expect a wee kick and everybody to be on point with their, their training and stuff like that. And, uh, and that's the way it's been, you know what I mean? And it's it's good because that's the, the exact way we want to kind of carry it forward. We've uh, installed a couple of things into the boys the way we want to train and the way we want them to train and uh, what we're expecting for them. So, you know, they're starting to grasp that a wee bit and, and we'll see that through the week and uh, into Friday as well and then on going into the other games. David, thank you very much for your time. Thanks, John. Thank you. Cheers.